Welcome to KDD Training Solutions. Myself Mohan and this is Session 5 on Time and Work. This video is about man living concept of time and work. The concept is so simple, I will explain the same using a couple of examples. So, before entering the concept, please do subscribe my channel. Example 1. A, B and C can complete a project in 20, 40 and 80 days respectively. A worked for 11 days, then B and C together completed the remaining work in dash days. So in question it is given, A can complete a job in 20 days, B in 40 days, C can complete the same job in 80 days. A worked only for 11 days then left the job. Then the remaining job is completed by B and C. So the question is, the remaining job is completed by B and C in how many days? Since we don't know what is the total amount of work to be completed, take the LCM of 20, 40 and 80. So which is 80, right? Now, A can complete these 80 units in 20 days. In one day, A will complete 80 by 20, 4 units. And B will complete 80 by 40, 2 units. C will complete only 1 unit per day. So A worked for 11 days. So in one day, A will complete 4 units. In 11 days, A can complete 44 units. So out of 80, 44 units gone. Remaining is only 36 units. Now, A quit the job. B and C completed the remaining job. So B and C will complete 3 units per day. Right? So these 36 units will completed by B and C in how many days? This is our question. So this is our remaining job, right? So these 36 units will be completed by B and C in cancel unit unit 12. So in 12 days, B and C will complete the remaining job. Question number 2. A can do a job in 60 days and B in 120 days. Both of them work together for 30 days. Then B left the job. In how many days the total work is completed? So here the question is in how many days the total work is completed? That means from starting to end, you have to calculate the total time required to complete the whole job. A can complete a job in 60 days. B can complete it in 120 days. Since we don't know what is the total amount of work to be completed, take the LCM of 60 and 120 which is 120 units. Now A can complete 2 unit per day. B can complete 1 unit per day. So together both of them will complete 3 unit per day. So in question it is given both of them work for 30 days and B left the job. So in one day 30 units will be completed by A and B. In 30 days 3 into 30, 90 units will be completed by A and B. So out of 120, 90 units gone. So remaining is only 30 units. Now B left the job. The 30 units have to be completed only by A. A will complete 2 units per day. So 30 by 2, in 15 days the remaining job will be completed by A. But the question is in how many days the total work is completed. So the total work is 120. So in one out of 120, the 90 units got completed by A and B in 30 days and the remaining 30 units got completed only by A in 15 days. So in total 13, 30 plus 15, 45 days the work got completed. So here the answer is 45 days. Hope you understood right. Last question, A is thrice efficient comparing to B. Who can complete a job in 60 days? Together they work for 13 days and A left the job. Remaining, remaining work will be completed in dash days. A is thrice efficient comparing to B. We know efficiency is inverse to the time. A is thrice efficient to B means efficiency of A and B in the ratio 3 is to 1. So time taken by A and B is 1 is to 3. In question it is given B can complete a job in 60 days. So here 3 parts is 60. So 1 part is 60 by 3. 20. Now we can go with the usual protocol. A can complete a job in 20 days. B can complete the same job in 60 days. Assume the total amount of work as LCM of 20 and 60 which is 60 units. Now A can complete 3 unit per day. B can complete 1 unit per day. So in question it is given together they work for 13 days. So A and B's one day efficiency is 3 plus 1. 4 unit per day. So 4 unit per day is the 1 day efficiency of A and B. Both of them work for 13 days. So 4 into 13, 52 units. So 52 units got completed by A and B in 13 days. So out of 60, 52 units gone. So remaining is only 8 units. 
now a left the job so if a quit the job b can complete only one unit per day so this one with the efficiency one unit per day the remaining job will be completed by b in eight days so here the question is remaining job will be completed in how many days so the remaining job here is eight units this will be completed by b in eight days i hope that you understood the concept right so before winding up this channel please like the video subscribe my channel if you have any doubt please pass it on the comment section below don't forget to click the bell button thank you for watching have a nice day